Hi everyone, welcome back to my garden. My name is Janie and I live in Northern California, Zone 9B. It's the middle of December right now. Actually, it's the beginning of December still, um, but it's cold. It's cold out here. I've got double layers on, and I know that I'm complaining here in California where other places it's snowing already, um, but I'm cold. So today I wanted to give you a tour of my greenhouse. Um, you can see it right back there, and this is the new greenhouse. Uh, we put this up this summer, so it hasn't been through a winter season yet, but I will show you my other greenhouse greenhouse that's over there that has been through a winter season and it just didn't hold up so I don't recommend that one so let's go take a look okay so first off I wanted to show you guys my old greenhouse and this one is just um, one of those hoop houses with the plastic cover that rolls down and zips down um, but you can see here we have these little hooks because the zipper doesn't work this little strap broke <laughs> Gosh, I just broke it again. This thing is a piece of junk. Uh, I'll link it down below. It was cheap. It was a starter greenhouse. Um, you know, it protected things from frost last year, but that was just about it. I am just not really happy with this. So I would say my advice would be invest a little bit more, get a little bit more sturdy greenhouse because this just didn't last. So now at this point, we're just storing, you know, like our lawnmower, um, extra wood, things like that in here. So really nothing. We're probably going to tear it down eventually, um, but we're just using it just, just for cover, you know, um, keep the rain off things at this point. And then back on the other side of the backyard is my greenhouse and I love it. We um, built the pergolas so that there would be enough room over here for a greenhouse. I might go up in size eventually, but at this point I'm really happy with this one. This beautiful plant in front is a bougainvillea uh, purple queen and it's doing pretty well right now. Um, I'm excited to see it. This is, I just got it for my anniversary this year. So I'm excited to see how it does next year. So why don't we go inside? So this is the Paul Ram uh, hybrid greenhouse. It's a six by eight greenhouse and I got it from Tractor Supply Company and I got it on sale for I think around $500, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So hopefully my voice doesn't get too echoey in here, um, but you can see it's tight. I didn't clean anything yet. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how it was. Um, it's tight, but it's holding everything that I need. And I have a feeling all these shelves will be filled up and um, coming around here once I get my seedlings and my, my um, propagations all potted up. So we'll start over here. And you can see I have a couple plants from Proven Winners. Um, uh, this is Supertunia Vista Snowdrift, and that's a beautiful uh, Supertunia that does really well. I'm going to try and overwinter this in here. Um, this is an Amazel Basil, again from Proven Winners. This was awesome this past year. Um, this basil is specially, um, how should I say it, specially hybridized to not get um, bitter once the, it starts blooming, so you don't have to worry so much about deadheading it. Uh, Super, Tuna, Super Tunia Royal Velvet. Oh my gosh, I was playing with this and now there's this amazing summer smell of basil right now. It smells so good. Um, Super Tunia Royal Velvet, uh, Gonfrina, Truffula Pink Gonfrina. Um, there's a Verbena right there and just some other things. I can't remember the name of this right now. I'll put it on the screen. Here in these three gray pots, I have some cuttings that I made of Mystic Spires Salvia. And um, there's about three cuttings in each pot. And I think I'm gonna plant them in the spring just to fill out some other areas where I have the, the Mystic Spires Salvia, um, just to add to it, and it's free. And then in these other pots, I had these plants, these begonias, up in my window box by the front door and I just wanted to winter them over. They probably would have been fine. They're zone 10 and we live in zone 9B, um, but I didn't want the pink up there for the winter season. I wanted something else. So I just ripped them out, cut them way back, and I'm just letting them overwinter here in my greenhouse. 
Then what I did is I took out all my um, super tunias that I had around the yard and I just put them up in here um, just to see if I could overwinter winter them and reuse them next year. Uh, super tunias again are, are annuals and um, they're hardy in zone 10. So again, we're zone 9B, so it should be pretty close. It's just trial, it's just for fun. Here's some seeds that I had started for my uh, cut flower garden and these are uh, the te the cool flowers technique that I used. These are just extra sweet peas that I had. They're not looking good. They need some they need some food. Um, and then here's some Orlea right here. Um, and I just haven't decided what to do with them. I think I, I might pot these up in some some pots um, in a little bit, seeing if I get to it. So then you can see back here. I put some lights up on top, which is really pretty at night. Um, and my plan is is to be able to come out here in the winter and work in the greenhouse and be able to plug these lights in. And I think that would be really romantic and really pretty. Back here in this gray pot is a lantana that I am actually making into a standard. So I took one main stem and I tied it all the way up this stake and I've just been plucking off. You can see I'll do it right here. I've just been plucking off the extra growth where I don't want it. Here's another one. And so that way all the energy goes up to the top of the plant and eventually it's going to be a lantana ball um, and it's going to look really cute and really pretty. I saw this at a house um, in a neighboring town and I just I stopped my car just to look at it and see what they did. I thought it was so cool and I thought, oh, that would be a fun project. So it'll probably take a while to um, uh, grow into what I want it to be, but it's a fun thing to do. So I'll keep you guys updated on how my standard lantana goes. Next over here is one of my monster house plants that I just threw out here in the greenhouse just to see how it would do and it is not doing very well. We have Neon Pothos here and then Monstera adansonii right here, Swiss cheese plant, a little tiny Swiss cheese plant. Um, and you know, it's growing, it's doing well. I think it'll bounce back in the summer once it gets hotter, but it's just probably too cold in here for it. Uh, this is just a giant plant and I just don't have anywhere to put it <laughs> at this point. So I'm leaving it in my greenhouse. Here's one of my watering cans that I actually, I think is really pretty, but I actually don't like it very much. I gotta get a new one. And then more of my little seedlings. Here's my Prairie Sun Rudbeckia. So these are already planted in my cut flower garden in the front yard. Um, and then here's some Delphiniums. And then here's a bunch of junk that I need to figure out. Down here under these shelves, this is where I keep um, my bird seed, and then this is where I keep some of my extra soil, and then more extra soil. So my plan, one of my projects for this winter is to be to completely redo this greenhouse. This gray potting bench right here, I actually made myself. It was one of my first woodworking projects that I did. Um, I had a, a patient's husband that taught me how to you know use power tools and all that kind of stuff and sand it down and so this was my first project that I did and I love it I'm so happy with it so my plan is is to make another one that goes back on the back wall and then another one that comes up here and stain it in the same gray color um, because I think it's just so pretty so that's the plan. We'll see when I get into it. Um, I had planned to do it earlier this summer, but because of the uh, sharp increase in wood cost, uh, that project was postponed. So I think it's coming down now and I think I'll be able to, to get to that project pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tour of my current greenhouse. I'll link the, the type of greenhouse down below. Again, it's from Tractor Supply Company, and it's the Paul Ram Hybrid 6x8 greenhouse. And I think it's, you know, it's a really good hobby greenhouse, good starter size. Um, and I think that once we start getting cold um, here in Zone 9B in Northern California, we just get a couple days of you know, real cold frost um, freezes. So I'm gonna try and put a space heater in here for those nights and we'll see how this greenhouse does. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything else. And then I'm planning on a future video of a greenhouse makeover where I'm gonna make more of these potting benches and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe for more gardening videos, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.